the rights of parents. Respect of parents is a primary and sacred obligation. If you fail to respect your parents, you have disobeyed God Almighty, and those who treat their parents badly will sooner or later fall into ill treatment of others. From the very moment of conception, the child, as it grows and develops, is a care and responsibility for its parents. It is impossible to estimate the depth of attachment and compassion parents feel for their children, nor is it possible to calculate the troubles and hardships they go through as parents. For this reason, respecting them is a debt of human gratitude as well as a religious obligation. Those who can judge the value of their parents rightly and regard them as a means to obtain the mercy of God are the most prosperous in both worlds. Those who, by contrast, regard their parents' existence as a burden to themselves or who become wearied of them are unfortunate ones who will inevitably suffer the most severe of hardships in life. The more respectful you are to your parents, the greater the respect and awe you feel before your Creator. Those who do not feel and show respect to their parents feel no fear, awe, and respect towards God. Yet it is a curious thing today that not only those who are disrespectful to God, but also those who claim that they love God, do not defend themselves from disobedience to their parents. Children should be respectful and obedient to their parents to the greatest degree possible, and parents should give as much importance to their children's moral and spiritual education as to their physical growth and health, and submit them to the care of the most honorable teachers and guides. How ignorant and careless are the parents who neglect the moral and spiritual training of their children, and how unfortunate are the children who are the victims of such neglect. Children who are inconsiderate of the rights of their parents and disobedient to them are brutes, equally those parents too who are brutes who do not labor to secure the moral and spiritual welfare of their children. Most brutish and pitiless of all are those parents who paralyze the moral and spiritual development of their children after they have found a way to revive themselves spiritually. Families form the foundation of a society. Where there is reciprocal respect of rights and obligations within a family, the society is healthy and strong. It is vain to look for compassion and respect in the society once these have been lost from the relationships within the family.